Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Thank you for coming back for another video. My name is Janika. If you are new here and I do um, cash stuffing videos and budget videos with some occasional shop vlogs. So if you like channels like that and content like that, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below and let's get started. Okay, so y'all know in every video we go ahead and take a look at the month at hand. So we are at the end of the one, two, three, third week in October. I'm saying happy Friday, but today is actually Thursday. <laughs> um, I'm going to be out of town this weekend. I'm so excited. I just feel like we're going to have a blast. I can't wait. Um, so I'm filming on Thursday. I'm still going to upload, obviously, on Friday and close out my week, my budget for the week on today. So um, let's see we had um two bills due this week that was paid um mainly this week i had to do a lot of getting ready for the trip so i got my lashes done which i'm going to show y'all on instagram i'm gonna take a picture and show y'all because this is my first time ever having lash extensions it's a whole story i'm not gonna go into it but yeah I love them. So I'm going to show you on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, go ahead and follow me. It's also a public page. So if you just want to look and check it out, you can do that as well. Had one no spend day this week. I've mainly been spending my eating out money and I think my spending money on coffee. That's pretty much all I spend it on. So um, other than that, today is Thursday. I am currently washing my clothes. I'm like halfway packed. I'm going to get a pedicure later on today and then right now we're doing the video tomorrow i'm getting my hair done y'all will see that on on instagram as well so if you don't if you're not used to seeing my face because i don't really show my face on youtube but i do show my face on instagram so yeah tomorrow's payday and then our dallas trip is after that so um not too much going on this week bill wise um or spending wise i did have a nice amount of money left over this month in my envelopes and we're going to see that next all right y'all so this is my october um weekly check-in so for this third week in october i went ahead and did this um off camera and actually we'll have it posted in a reel and a tiktok so if you want to see that breakdown that'll be over there um but i actually did save 29 dollars this week which is more than last week i saved 13 11 and then the first week i saved two dollars so um, like I said, we saved quite a bit of money this week. I'm excited about that. I am still technically in budget for beauty, but I know that that is going to be changing coming up in this final week of October. I'm trying to see, do we, okay. So we have like four weeks and like a couple days in October left. So next, I'm going to go ahead and get my cash and get into the stuffing. Okay, and before I get into the stuffing, I do want to go ahead and see what we have left for the rest of the month. So we started week three with 47 and we spent 18. So I have $29 left for the last week of this month. For gas, we started at 105. We spent 38. I have 67 uh groceries we started at 120 21 and then we spent 59 so i have 61 21 home i started at 32 11 and i end up i did end up putting that money in the bank i don't remember why but for eating out 41 Minus 18 is 23. Um, medicine, we still have our 19.41. And then for beauty, for the month, so all of my categories, spending gas, groceries, home, eating out, and medicine, I do that on a weekly basis. Beauty, I just stuff it once a month and it I use it for the entire month. 101.56. Actually, this is incorrect because 
I went back to the last studio. I forgot. I went back to the last studio and bought some more utensils and I think it came out to like 30 something dollars and I forgot to add that in there. Um, so I'll just have to um, account for that in the following week. But again, I know I'm going over in beauty, so I'm not being like so penny pinch with that. Um, my travel budget is going to be separate from my regular weekly and monthly budget. I just give myself an allotted month for traveling, especially like in the States or in the same, um, if I'm traveling in the same state. So I gave myself $200, probably I'm going to spend more than that. Probably. Um, we'll see, but that is separate from this budget. So now I'll go ahead and grab the cash. All right, y'all today, oh, I hope I'm in frame. <laughs> Today we are stuffing $298 um, and then I'm going to do a cash exchange of $500, $505 I believe. So um, everything that you see in the video, if you like it, there is a link down below for it. So spending is getting 20 gas is getting 50 and I'm going to go 20 40 and 50 I need to start breaking it up because this also includes uh, car wash so groceries is going to get 60 so that'll be 50 and 10 home is going to get 15 Eating out will get 20. And medicine's not gonna get anything. Technically, I do need um, like Advil. I don't have any, but I do have allergy medicine. So, and then beauty, I'm doing everything online this month for that. In the bank, so I, I, I had already closed out my budget. Um, and I may post the shorts of it because I think it's been a while since I posted like y'all actually seeing me pull the money out and get everything together. So, so far in cash from the envelopes this month, we have saved 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 36. Um, I actually may use this money because there are a couple of more things that I need to buy for my trip and the more I cannot pull from my bank account, the better. I may or may not use it, I'm not sure. These are my receipts that I will scan for Fetch Rewards, and then I'm going to take my coins off camera and put them in the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my savings challenge and be back to stuff that. All right, y'all, so I am back with the savings challenge. And today we are gonna put in $40. I did miss this week. Um, so I will probably just go ahead and either maybe do that off camera or sometime before the end of the year. So I'm going to grab 20 and 40. And I'm not going to count it today. So starting with my pink binder, this is just where I keep <laughs> all of my um, laminated pink envelopes. And I'm missing one. And I just put the binder um, to the side and start with these. So... It's a mixture of like high and low priority funds in here. So birthday is going to get a five. I need to print a new tracker for most of these. I think most of these I'll be right on the back. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. I think I'm gonna be low key for my birthday next year like my the last several years we've done a lot so 
I want to say like the last three years, the last three birthdays I've had, we've done a lot. So I think next year I'm just going to take it easy. Business is going to get a dollar. I did a uh, spend in this envelope this week. I did not, um, I didn't have a red pen with me, but at the time, but yeah, cause I usually do my withdrawals in red. So we have 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 29. LASIK is going to get five. And that's going to give us 1,105 and 10. The 1,100 is of our placeholders and that money is in the bank. So whenever this, the real money grows to $100, I will get a $100 slip. I used to put more money in LASIK, but um, things have changed. So, outings is going to get five. Again, this envelope is extremely low. You can see the amounts I did have to where I am now. I've been spending money out of this envelope like nobody's business. So that is, that is why it is so low. So now I just have to build it back up, but that's kind of the point. So like, this is technically like a fun envelope. Like I get to use this on like whatever I want and yeah, I build it up and then I use it and then I have to rebuild it again. My car is almost time for a maintenance appointment for my car. I did start hearing a noise, I think earlier yesterday with the air condition. And my car is five years old, I think, five or six. So, um, but she's coming up for a maintenance appointment, which I will also get a, another service done um, for the mileage that she has. And then probably we'll have them check out a couple more things. But yeah, so car maintenance, we have one, two, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 390. And I do keep a little note in my envelope of the things that they have told me that I need to get done. And because when I go to the dealership, I bring this envelope with me. Miscellaneous is going to get two. And we should be at 127. So 120, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Gifts is going to get five. for 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. I remember when this envelope was at five <laughs> and someone on Instagram uh, commented on my reel and was like, can I ask what kind of gift you're buying with $5? <laughs> I was like, I'm not buying any gifts with $5. It's a sinking fund. So I put $5 in every week and over time it grows and i'm putting in five for travel which i will be repurposing this envelope because i technically don't use it i just create a travel budget like i said earlier and um 
go from there. Not saying I never pull out of this envelope when I'm traveling, but I don't know. I just, I tend to just use my card. That way I can go back um, from when, for when I'm out of town. That way I can go back and look through the statement and get all of the charges, you know, added up and yeah. So 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I may use this this weekend. We'll see. I feel like I might as well. Then I would just have to rebuild it. Church is going to get a dollar. And this is not a um, tithe and envelope. Tithe and offering envelope. I do that every time. I always say tithes and envelope. <laughs> This is not a tithe and offering envelope. This is just an extra envelope. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I don't know why I can't. I don't know why I do that every single time. Maybe because offering and envelope both start with like open mouth letters. I don't know. Um, medical is going to get 15. That was ugly. So, in the medical, we have 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. I do have to tell y'all, because y'all know that my back was killing me. And I appreciate everybody's kind words regarding that. And I think I told y'all that I was going to stop cycling for a while to see if that was the issue. And I haven't cycled in probably two, maybe even three weeks. And my back is doing almost like 100% better. So I was hoping that cycling was not the cause of my pain. Although I kind of suspected that it was, I was hoping that it wasn't because I do like to work out at the gym cycling, but the back pain is unbearable. And again, it took months for like that tension and the stress in my back to build up. So I think I will be going back to doing moderate exercises because that's just, I have a curved spine, so um, my spine is curved much more than it should be, and that is what causes my back problems. So um, I, will go, I will be going back to moderate exercises because the intensity of the kind of workouts that I was doing, although I enjoyed it, um, after several months dealing with that pain and it building up, like it was unbearable. So. That's unfortunate. Me and the GM are discussing options for me, like maybe not going as much or whatever. So I'll keep y'all updated on that, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab my zipper envelopes. Okay, so we are back with the zipper envelopes and card tags is going to get $2. Four, 48, 20, 45, 6, 7, 8. 5. Electronics is going to get five. And in electronics, we have one, two hundred, two, fifty, two, seventy, two, eighty, two, eighty five, two, ninety, two, ninety five. So next week I'll be at three hundred dollars, which is exciting because I'm almost positive that I'm going to have to buy another laptop. Um, I have two, I have a MacBook and I have an HP laptop. And so, like, for work, well, even for personal, but especially especially for work I use HP um, because that is the brand of laptops that we had when I was a teacher at my school and it I had the same laptop for three years it worked 
fantastic. So I like that brand of laptops and so I probably will buy another one of those. And they are much more cost efficient than MacBooks. So I probably will not be buying another MacBook right now. Um, we added five to emergency for 1,000, 200, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So 12, is that right y'all? Yes, 12, 60. I will also throw a plug in really quick. All right, if you made it this far in video, we are gonna go ahead and talk about the giveaway. So I am celebrating uh, making or receiving or achieving 15,000 subscribers here on the YouTube channel. Y'all, it is very hard to grow a YouTube channel. Um, staying consistent, your guys' support, it's, it's hard. So um, it's definitely time for a giveaway and I'm ready. So. The giveaway opens today, so while you're seeing this video, it is open and it will close at 11.59 on October 28th. So with that being said, the only thing you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment below um, commenting on one of your 2023 financial goals. So what financial goal do you have for 2023? And you may have several, just type one, um, as well as either leave me your IG username, the handle, um, or an email address so that if you win, I can contact you. So normally in the past, I've done my giveaways um, on Instagram only, but Instagram is popping. Like y'all, we have over 100,000 followers in the family. Like, hello, I'm so excited. That's why I tell y'all like, listen, you wanna see more? I'm active on Instagram literally every day. So um, head over to Instagram, follow me there. But for my people that are not Instagram people or TikTok people or anything like that, this giveaway is I'm picking from YouTube. So I'm just gonna use an app um, that's gonna roll the comments and then it's gonna pick the winners for me. There will be two winners. I need to check my polls again because I did poll you guys, I think earlier, this week or maybe it was the end of last week about if you wanted Amazon or if you wanted a Visa gift card. So this $100 will be going in the bank. One person will get $50. The other person will also get $50. So two winners, $50. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment of one financial goal you have for the new year. And don't forget to either leave me your Instagram username or your email address so that I can contact you. So yes i'm excited it's been a while since we've done a giveaway but i was like listen i can squeeze this in before you know there's a y'all know the holidays are just a busy time of year i have like three trips coming up in the next three weeks which is insane because i said i was done traveling for this year and just like focusing on like saving money i have some goals for the new year and these trips just kind of popped up it is what it is so we're just gonna do the best we can with the budget. Christmas has one, 200, 220, 230, But I'm so happy to be able to squeeze that giveaway in um, for you guys. I'm looking forward to blessing two people with $50. Car tires is going to get the last $2. For 48, 20, And that is gonna be all for the stuffing. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bill exchange money and we will do a little bill exchange. And just also a reminder guys that I'm going to be um, doing a video on the 27th so that that will be next thursday i'll be doing a video on the 27th um showing you guys the winter envelopes the 2023 saving challenges and the december stickers um but if you're subscribed to the channel then you don't have to remember you'll just see it on your feed so go ahead and subscribe and then the 28th um the giveaway will close so birthday we are going to be exchanging for 20 10 15 20 
And again, I think I told you guys it's a little over $500 there. For business, we are going to exchange for a 20 and a five. So 10, 20, and one, two, three, four, five. LASIK is going to get a 10. So 5, 10 for a 10. Outings will also get a 10. Car maintenance is going to get 50. So let's see, 20, 40, and 45, 50. And if I have no bills left, then we know we did everything correct. So I'm not gonna go through and count everything again. Miscellaneous is going to get five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Gifts is going to get 20. So 10, 15, 20. Travel will get a 50 and a 10. 20, 40, 45, 50, and 10. Church is going to get 20, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And medical is going to get 50, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. I will grab the zipper envelopes. Car tax is not going to get anything exchanged. Electronics is getting a 20. Ten, fifteen, twenty. Emergency is getting fifty and ten. So twenty, forty, forty five, fifty, and ten. Bills are kind of floppy. Christmas is getting 50. So 20, 30, 40, 50. And car tires is getting a five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that over. One, two, three, four, and five. Because those bills are like older and more crusty. So the last $100 bill is going to go to my savings challenge. All right. So for the saving challenge, we will be exchanging. $100, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
So that is all for the bill swap. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget if you want to enter the giveaway for a chance to get a $50 gift card to go ahead and leave me a comment down below of one of your 2023 financial goals. Also in your comment, please leave a way for me to contact you, either your Instagram username or your email address. Um, it opens, it's open right now, opens today, which is the 21st, and it's gonna close on the 28th. So um, also the 27th, I will be doing that new product release um, video as well as discussing upcoming sales for the holidays and all that good stuff so if you don't want to miss anything like that go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already and join the family so you can stay in the loop about everything thank you guys again for coming back to watch another video especially thank you if you made it this far anything that you see in the video that you are interested in there is a link down below for it if there's not you can leave me a comment um, and let me know i hope that you are having a good month it is i believe the end of the month so y'all can let me know in your comments how your budget has gone for the month of october i would love to know um i'm gonna be out of town this weekend so responding to comments and messages may be a little um in and out just to give y'all a heads up on that so i will see you next week guys have a good weekend bye